Hi, I'm Wendy Keller from Keller Media in Malibu. I've been a literary agent for more than 20 years. I'm responsible for more than 800 sold books all over the world, including a lot of bestsellers. And people send me queries, information, begging me to represent them all the time. Unfortunately, we turn down more than 99 out of 100. Pretty sad. If you'd like to get in between and find an agent who's going to get passionate about you and your project, you need to follow my rule of 30. I call this Wendy's Rule of 30. Catchy title, huh? Okay, the rule of 30 is this. In order to get an agent's attention, you need to find 30 agents who have sold and are selling books just like yours. In the old days, I used to sell Christian books. I used to sell juvenile books. I don't sell either one of those anymore, although you might find them on the sold list on my website, kellermedia.com. Okay, but I don't know those editors anymore. I don't know who the right people are for a juvenile or a Christian book. I am not currently selling. You need to go to the directories on the internet or in the bookstore of literary agents and select 30 people who are currently selling books like yours. Here's why. Agents specialize. Very tight niches, whether it's fiction or nonfiction. A romance fiction agent is not likely to also handle mysteries. We know totally different sets of editors. Find 30 agents who are in the process of keeping up relationships with 30 appropriate editors. Next, you need to write a succinct, clear, crisp query letter to those agents in the format we all recommend, whether it's an email or whether it is a paper product with some documents from your book attached, a couple sample chapters or a proposal, whatever it is. Each agent's listing will say how we want to be approached. You write us and then you wait. Give us all two to four weeks to respond to your material. Any agent who hasn't responded in that time, forget about them. Okay. Now, at the end of that time of sending out a very well-written, succinct query, you should have gotten some people interested in seeing your material. Send that material out to all the agents who request it and give us the amount of time, the maximum amount of time any one agent has asked for. So if all agents say, I'll respond in two weeks, give everybody two weeks. If somebody said, I'll respond in six weeks, give everybody six weeks. When you get an agent, should you get an agent, who says, I love you, I want to work with this material, now do not sign that agent's contract. Now you are a person of power in the publishing industry because you have an agent who wants to work with you. So the most important thing you can do to protect yourself from getting in a bad deal with a bad agent and losing momentum on your project is this. As soon as one agent is interested, you have the responsibility to call everybody else who is still looking. This is the only time you can call us after you send us your material. Say, hello, this is so-and-so. You have my proposal or my manuscript under consideration. I just wanted you to know that I got an offer of representation from an agent today. Don't tell them who it is. Be telling the truth, but don't tell them who it is. Now, all those agents will say, oh, give me two days, give me a week, and you go up to the top of the reading stack, because we read all day, every day for a living. So now you go up to the top of the stack. Give everyone a chance to respond so that you're guaranteed of getting the very best agent possible. If you do this, you'll protect yourself. You'll get a good agent who's enthusiastic about you, and you'll be on your way to getting published. Thanks for listening. I hope to see your query in my inbox real soon.